Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two yellow shaded uh, circles uh, put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, the center of this uh, larger circle is uh, P and the radius uh, of this circle uh, is uh, 5 units whereas the center for uh, this smaller circle is uh, Q and the radius uh, is uh, 3 units and moreover the distance uh, between uh, these two centers P and Q is 16 units and furthermore uh, this uh, line AB is tangent to both of uh, these uh, circles and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, this uh, length uh, AB please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We can see that these uh, two lines, the blue one and the red one, uh, they intersect each other at this point C. And since we are interested uh, in finding the value of this uh, line uh, AB, and now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, whole line uh, AB is equal to the sum of these uh, two segments, uh, this segment uh, AC and the other segment is uh, CB. And now I am going to label uh, this uh, segment AC as uh, X units and the segment uh, CB as uh, Y units. Now our task is uh, to find the value of X uh, and the value of uh, Y as well. And now let's recall the circular theorem according to this theorem. Uh, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this given diagram. This is our tangent line and this is our radius. Uh, so no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees. And now let's revert our attention back to our this uh, problem. We can see this is our radius uh, and this is our tangent line. So no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees and likewise uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees as well since this, uh, this is our radius uh, and this is our tangent line uh, as well and here's our next uh, step let's label uh, this segment uh, PC as uh, lowercase uh, a and we know this uh, whole uh, blue segment uh, PQ is uh, 16 units so therefore uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, CQ is going to be 16 minus A. And now let's focus on these uh, two triangles, uh, triangle PAC and this uh, other triangle uh, QBC. And we can see that both of these uh, triangles are our similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. Since uh, we can see this angle and this angle, they are congruent since they are uh, our vertical angles. And this is our 90 degree angle and likewise this is a, our 90 degree angle as well. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words we have a ratio of uh, PC and uh, PA is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, QC and uh, QB. And now we can see our this uh, PC segment is uh, lowercase a. So I'm going to replace that one with the uh, lowercase a. PA this segment is our radius. Uh, so I'm going to replace this one with uh, 5. Segment uh, QC is uh, 16 minus a. So I'm going to replace this one uh, with the 16 minus uh, a. And finally this uh, QB is our radius which is 3 so I'm going to replace uh, that one with uh, 3 over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted uh, all those values uh, over here let's cross multiply so therefore we are going to have uh, 80 minus uh, 5 times uh, a equals to 3 times uh, a let's add uh, 5a on both sides this is gone so therefore if we add this one that is going to give us 8 times a equals to 80 
and now we are going to divide both sides by a to isolate uh, a we can see 8 and 8 is gone so therefore our lowercase uh, a value turns out to be 10 uh, units and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, lowercase a represents uh, this segment uh, pc so our pc length uh, turns out to be 10 so therefore this uh, pc length uh, is uh, 10 then this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, cq is going to be 16 minus 10 is going to give us 6 uh, units so therefore uh, this segment uh, cq turns out to be 6 units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, pac and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for uh, x and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is 10 whereas our two other legs are uh, 5 uh, and x let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, x uh, square plus uh, 5 square equals to 10 uh, square let's simplify so we are going to have a uh, x square plus uh, 25 equals to 100 and we are going to subtract 25 from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore uh, x square value turns out to be 75 and now i'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore we can see the square and square root they undo each other so therefore uh, our x value turns out to be equal to 5 times uh, square root of uh, 3 units so thus our this uh, x value turns out to be 5 times the square root of uh, 3 units and now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, QBC and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well to find the value of uh, y and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is 6 uh, whereas our two other legs are uh, y and uh, 3 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, y square plus uh, 3 square equal to 6 uh, square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, y square uh, plus 9 equal to 36 let's subtract uh, 9 from both sides they are uh, gone so therefore y square value turns out to be equal to 27 and now i'm going to undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our lowercase y value turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of uh, 3 units so therefore our this uh, y value turns out to be 3 times the uh, square root of 3 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the value of uh, segment ab and now let's recall this equation once again uh, a b equal to the segment uh, a c plus the other segment uh, c b and we know our uh, a c segment is 5 times uh, square root of 3 whereas our uh, other segment uh, CB is uh, 3 times square root of 3 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we got uh, 5 times uh, square root of 3 plus uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 and if we add uh, them we are going to get uh, 8 times uh, square root of 3 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our this uh, AB segment length uh, turns out to be 8 times square root of 3 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 13.86 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye